night, night, go away, come along some other day. And it comes up, eventually, the stars are jumping. Oh man, oh man. What's up guys, it's King Daddy DMAC, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Yeah, on the vanilla server today, and I have been oh so busy trying to construct this whole lava thingamabobber, digging out all the uh, the water. Yeah, I'm not going to even bother taking off my helmet at this point. So, how's everybody doing? How is everybody doing today? I'm pretty tired. Didn't Didn't get a whole heck of a lot of sleep last night. There's been all these DDoS attacks going on. Um, the other yesterday, last night, it's kind of kept me from, uh, being able to finish a lot of things, which has been so annoying. I ended up staying up really late last night trying to get, uh, videos done once the servers were running a little bit smoother, but it's supposed to be a little, I don't know, Kupo said that there's going to be intermittent issues as they're fixing things throughout the week, so hopefully everything works out today. Anywho. So what's going on here? Um, I've talked to Mumbo, and I talked about last time a possible sand generator. That's how I did this in my single-player world, filling in all the water. And um, he said, yes, it did exist, but it was only for a short time during a snapshot or something like that. So it doesn't look like that's going to be an option. So we're back to placing the lava buckets in and digging out the cobble and or just dropping in sand slash gravel um, to fill up the whole thing and then taking it out with torches. Um, that's still, people are telling me they think that's the best way and it still may be the best way. However, we've already committed to this way a little bit and I really want to try it. I really want to get something going. So I went ahead um, and just testing stuff out, constructed this and it's just on one row. Really wasn't that difficult to put in. Um, it's just glass around the bottom and then pistons on either side shooting out and they can share one line of redstone so that's pretty cool let's just see is it safe now probably some creepers with, with the beacons I can actually kill the mobs in pretty much one shot with just my pickaxe which is pretty neat I'm, I'm digging that um, it's really making me excited for possible mob traps here once we're finished um, anyway yeah it's really not that bad so I think I'm going to work more on this. Let's try and get this whole side. I made tons of pistons, repeaters, and the such. And hopefully it should be enough to complete this side and then get the lava in. And we can go through, do maybe a layer or two, and then if we have time, I'd like to go do some stuff over in the Hermit Village again. So anyway, um, I may do some type of little... little... Uh, Thing to music, something like that, not sure. Anyway, we shall see.
Alright guys, all finished, couple hours later. Oh my goodness, look at the mess I made! Real soppy redstone, but all the lava is in place and all the pistons should be hooked up. So, let's have some fun. I knocked out the whole bottom, just so we can test it right off the bat. I got the lever for it, right over here. You can see the lava's down one more. So ready, let's do this. Let's run over here so we can look. Oh, that's so cool. We'll be able to see now if there's any spots that we didn't fill in just based on where all the smooth stone goes. Oh man, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And this really isn't bad because it only, I think it takes me under five minutes to knock out each layer. So it's really not that bad and it's pretty much about 30 seconds maybe at most for all the lava. All right, let's see how long it takes to dissolve. Yeah, I heard that it's a lot quicker now. And look at that. As long as there's no source blocks there. That's almost instant. That's great. Oh, that's really good. It used to take, like, a while. A good long while. Oh, this is great. So let's see. We have this one spot here. This one's always kind of a toughie to get. I'm not going to even worry about it. Because I can just go, as long as, we don't have a hole there, right? Yeah, I can just go like that and then knock it out. And it's gone. Alright, how are we doing on everything else? A couple more spots over here, and it looks like we don't have a lava bucket there. So that would probably explain that. So, I'll get those filled in. Let's see, everything else looks pretty dang good. This one, a nut, you know what, I'm kind of wondering... I don't know if I miss the spots or if the lava is somehow disappearing. Because I had a couple other ones that I would have swore I put lava in. And then they all of a sudden didn't have it. Let's see. Looks like everything else has got it. So I must have just missed those. All right. This is not bad. So let me hop up. And there's about to be a whole lot of mobs spawning in here. Let me get those few buckets fixed. Let me see if I can get some mobs spawning. Oh, you know what? All the light from the lava is probably going to prevent mobs from spawning. Even with the sundown. I completely forgot about that. Alright, let's see what I got. Plenty more lava buckets. So there's like just a couple we got to fix. Let's pop back through. Is that one okay? All right. Ooh, why can't I? Oh, is there glass missing right there? Huh. Guess there's a piece of glass missing. All right, that fixes that. And then there's the other one somewhere around here. Where was it? Who's in a corner? There we go. All right, and that one has glass there, so that one's okay. All right, I think those. It was just those two, right? I think, I think. I'll see for the next layer. Let's knock it all out and we'll try it one more time. And let me show you. This This is my favorite part. Right here. Does go through my pickaxe quick. The sandway is cheaper. But I really don't know about the time now. As long as I can set up this lava thing. I mean, look at this. I can do three blocks at a time. As long as I'm aimed just in the right position and just bangs through it. And I'm not going to bother picking up all the cobble, but if I wanted to, I could. And it's another resource that I guess makes up for the used diamonds. But making this task actually fun, it feels like you're getting something accomplished when you knock out layer by layer and you can stand deeper and deeper. In fact, look at this. Well, I guess we're not super close there, but some of the areas around here, it's pretty shallow. This is also the side that has a spawner underneath it, so that's going to be nice. We can actually, once this is done, I'm thinking come next episode, I should have at least this one quadrant done. Um, we can actually start working on the base, even though the whole thing hasn't been dug out yet. 
even though some of it's still underwater. Oh, this is great. Wow, look at this. In some spots, we really are only a couple blocks till we get to the bottom. So this is pretty cool. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like we're actually getting stuff really accomplished. Freaking sweet. That's a nice big area for us to work. Just last check, was there any other ones that we saw that didn't have lava in it? I think that's everything. All right, cool. Now what I don't have is a good way to get out of here. Which, again, this is only a temporary thing that's a problem, but I'll just do this for now. Carry around these silk took shears. Best thing ever. I wish you could put a uh, efficiency on it too. That would be awesome. But it cuts through glass pretty quick. So let's try this baby again. And I didn't even bother with any of that cobble. Now another way, if you did try to do this yourself, and I did this a long time ago in a test in a video um, in my single player world, but you can actually have, I had it coming from a single lava source block and then just had it go down every three blocks, it would fall down one. And I could, could do that with the rows here and be able to do this with just a couple buckets, but this goes so much faster when you have a separate source block because you don't have to wait for the lava because lava just flowing is so slow plus we have the lava in the buckets already i didn't like go and gather this just for this project oh this is so great <laughs> i wish that mobs would spawn in there i was really looking forward to just burning a whole bunch of them up because i'm getting pretty decent spawn rates already being in the ocean this guy's still having a problem. This one was, we said, was always going to be a problem. Unless I put another piston here. But that's okay. I'll just separately go like that each and every time. No biggie. Are these guys all fixed, though? Yeah. Looks freaking good. I'm psyched. Oh, I love it. All right. So, why don't we head over to the spawn town, see what's up. Um, I heard the nether, the whole nether hub, that train is just about finished. A lot of work's been done on it. I guess Exumavoid was uh, taken over now. I think Cleo pretty much finished what he's going to do. So let's go take a look at the progress on that as well on the way over. What are you doing in here, sheep? Did you wander over from Red's base? Are you red-eyed sheep? <laughs> I don't know what that guy's doing in there. Oh, wow. So this is different. This whole entrance exit. It's all closed off now. So that's looking cool. Over here. Very nice. Very nice. Flowers. Lapis. Yeah, look at that. Quite fancy. Really digging this. I like it. I like it. All right, we just arrived, just arrived, and I'm seeing a sign for Hypno's base, which reminds me, he was telling me in chat today that if I needed any food, which we kind of don't, but we kind of do, because we don't really have a new food situation set up at our new base. He said he has chicken, uh, chicken stuff coming out the wazoo. I believe he was over at his base. I thought we could go check it out anyway. Assuming he's moving on to mushrooms. What the heck? Oh my goodness. That is a lot of mushrooms. What are you doing, bro? That's just evil. Look at them all. That just is like... I don't even know what to call it. It's a mushroom mosh pit. <laughs> 244... Oh, good lord, this is out of hand. What are you doing? I hope you're not doing the same thing with your villagers. Hmm. Got good trades going on? I'm not sure where he puts his good trade ones. I think they're down below. Let's see what he's working on right now. Not bad, not bad. 
A lot of been, people have been working on the villagers. I know Jevin is, Hypno is, I'm sure others, trying to get all those crazy, crazy trades before the update. So where, where is your chicken? He told me and I completely spaced out on it. Hmm, but his base is very nice, very impressed. Very impressed indeed. All right, let me go look for this. It's probably underground. So I will be right back. Good Lord, it took me the longest time to find this. I guess the mushroom thing kind of blocked it off for us, but he's got a stairway coming down. He used to have a, just a ladder going right in the middle. Oh, this is freaking cool. Still not sure if he's doing chickens here or if it's, he's talking about over at the spawn. Let's see, he's got some pigs down here. Wow, this is looking amazing, Hypno. I do have to say, is there a stairway going down more? How do I get down to the next level? Alright, so for this level, you actually now then do walk in, and then it's a ladder. Okay, so this is going down, down, down. I really hope he has a portal in here to get back up. And what's he got going on here? Is this some type of mob spawning thing? Oh, <gasps> that was bad. Ooh, look at that void fog. Guessing this is some type of mob spawner. Maybe. Maybe. It's hard to tell. Can't really see. But I'll tell you one thing. I am not seeing any chickens. So we may have just ended up coming here for a visit. What's going on here? Looks like future path. Ooh, is that lava? Got lava there, buddy. Be careful. All right. So, oh. It's so crazy right there just because of the it's has access to the sky. You can see everything. As soon as you walk out, let's see how far. Oh, all dark. So crazy. Alright, so I really don't know if he has the chickens here. I guess we will go over to the spawn town, but it was nice seeing your base hip, no? Seeing something. Let's see, what's he got in here? Oh, slime, 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 it's a slime farm, slime chunk. All right, makes sense, makes sense. All right, we're here, and thank goodness for once. <laughs> the sun's actually coming up. Looks like Monkey's actually getting some progress done. I'm excited. Yay, Monkey Farm. Should have seen the, uh, if you didn't watch it, make sure to go check out his video, his little prank that he did against Red Eyes. Ends it up being so silly. It's always fun when pranks backfire on you, but all right. So let's find this freaking chicken, Hypno. If we can't find it, Slip said I can take, uh, maybe not chicken. He said I could take all the feathers I wanted. Chicken, feathers. All right. Let's go down here. All right. And how we doing? All right. Thank you. I'll take, how about three stacks? Does that work? Thanks, chickies. Thank you very much. Eggs. My goodness. Oh, he's got a lot. Forget this. I'm going to take a whole bunch so that we don't have to worry about food for a little while. Thank you, buddy. You are the best. All right. And one more up. So, today, um, want to sort of plan out not, not like fully. We're not going to have enough time to fully build out anything yet. But you guys seem to like the McDonald's idea. So I definitely think we're going to go with that. And um, apparently Corrales had built a McDonald's before. Or did a how-to build. So I'm definitely going to be taking some advice from that. Also did get a few responses on the Google+. Plus. I'm still going to wait on that. I said if there was anything that I took from there that I would definitely give a shout out for it. But so far, so good. Make sure to link them. Make sure to link that stuff. Let's see. Slip just made this new shop in his recent video. All right, so deliveries, he'll deliver it. Payment and delivery invoice and instructions. Let's just take a little reedy read here. Welcome to Slip's name tag, blah, 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 blah. Name tag shop. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Simply fill out an invoice with your name and address and drop the invoice and payment. 
um, and payment into the payment chest. It's so easy. Name tags will be delivered within 24 hours of receiving payment. Name tags are holy crud, nine diamonds, a diamond block. Thank you for shopping. Well, I think that's cool. I know name tags are very difficult to get. You can get them through fishing. Other than that, you got to find them, I think, just in, uh, like, chests and dungeon chests, which we have a few. We don't have any big reason for them yet, so I can't really justify in helping you out. So, like, plus, he still owes He still owes us the pack ice. I refuse to tell him, though, in, in uh, chat at all. I want him to find out that he still owes it. I'll just keep on bringing it up until finally he'll be like, oh, man. I owe that to DMAC. We got flowers last time. All right, cool. So, also, Juustra has got his little juicy shop over here. And he mentioned he really hasn't had the time lately to come on to Hermitcraft. He's doing a whole lot of stuff, and he's not doing YouTube full-time anymore, I believe, is what's going on there. But anyway, doesn't have as much time. So this now opens up this area. He said it was completely okay if I wanted to use this area and even if I wanted to do a potion shop. So possibly we could sell potions at our McDonald's and we can, you know, they could be like milkshake type things or a beverage of some sort, among other things that we can sell. But this is a definite possibility. This is a nice little area. And I don't think, let's just look over here. I don't think this shop is going to dig into that let's just see how deep this goes yeah i think we should have plenty of room oh that's so good yummy yummy chicken so i think that might be our thing um i'm gonna try and level out i kind of i don't like that it's up on a hill so to speak but that isn't horrible we might level out a lot here or just build it up on top there. So that's a spot. That's a possibility. We could also, maybe, let's see. If we have a high enough sign, I guess this is all open area as well. And we can start bringing a path around on the side. Because we got a lot of, a lot of area that we haven't covered yet in the extreme hills. Ooh. Ooh, look at all this. Yeah, so there's a there there's a whole lot. This actually might even be a great area for it. Then we can have one of those big tall signs like you see on the highways. Saying McDonald's over this way. Oh, this this might be it. This might be it. I'll find out if anyone else has plans for stuff here yet. And if not, we can then because this courthouse is one of the new attractions. We can maybe have a path that comes, splits off here, splits off from the courthouse, and then comes right back here. You're going to have to, it would hurt a little bit of landscaping. Uh, he really did a great job with this. I really, I like how Exumavoid's grown as a builder in the past year. I, I'd say he's gotten a lot better, a lot, lot better. Yeah, so that might be a thing. Going through there, we can have a path going through that way and that way. So I'm liking it. Anyway, let me see if there's anything else important that I wanted to talk about um, and just sort of review over any other important gossip. Oh, all right. We'll be right back. Okay, so I want to go check out the uh, the Hermiton Herald, but I just wanted to mention um, Slipgator and, um, and Hypno finally did their match today on the Abbey and guess who won? <laughs> You're going to have to watch their video when it comes out to find out. Ha! Um, all right. Carol. Oh, Carol is having a little love affair going on with Spumwack. Apparently, he wrote a love letter to Carol and wanted, uh, <laughs> wanted Cleo to deliver it. To, and Carol, yeah, didn't really, yeah, I guess Spum's just not her type. I don't know. It's pretty silly. You'll have to check out the video for that. Okay, so third edition is up now. Subscription book in the chest. One gold bar per copy. Let's just see what this says. Subscriptions, one diamond for your issue to your door. Leave your name in the book where you want it delivered. 
along with the payment next to uh, the next additional in your mailbox. Okay. So wastelands, mushroom biome. All right. So what it it's it's one diamond. Oh, for four issues. All right. I think that's worth it. I've been missing out on all the news that's going on because we weren't subscribed to her herald. She tells you who died and just what all the different gossip is on the server. So that's pretty cool. I definitely, I definitely need this. <laughs> and see whatever other fun stuff's going on. Alright. So that's done. Maybe we'll still catch this issue. Because I know she just had an issue that came out. Oh, I hope I didn't do sign. I didn't do sign, right? No, I didn't do sign. I would have had me sign things and, and such. So, I think that's going to about do it. Let me know which spot you like better. The one having it right here so it's closer. I kind of I kind of feel like that and you know that's going to block slips thing. Maybe we could do something else here or maybe we shouldn't do anything. Maybe slips should just call this. Man, people are just dominating. We got to get working on this. So, I think Hopefully, maybe next episode, we'll at least put up a big sign and uh, start laying out the uh, the whole floor plans and everything. I always hate when I say what I'm going to do next episode, because if there's something else I want to do, I feel bad. But we shall see. It's raining. It's time to go home. It's time to end the episode. I'm exhausted. We got a lot done today. I'm happy. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, because I love them, because they support me. Because, yeah, thank you. I love it. Hit that thumbs up. If you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, hit the thumbs down. That's okay. But if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, peace out.